Another <laughs> special night. Man, it's the Flint Tell. We got some actors, actress. We got the movie director, Demonica Fly from Minnesota. I'm from Philly. It's a great, it's nothing but a family thing on here right now. And we're going to talk about this Flint Tell. And man, Mark told me, he said, man, look, I'm going to definitely bring my actresses and actors on here. And we're going to do it tonight. All right, Demonica, it's on you. Welcome to the SL Digital Media Podcast, and we're going to do it again. All right. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to SL Digital Media Podcast. My name is Demonica Fly, and we have the one and only Scarfo in the house. And we have the Hollywood producer right here, my boy here, Mr. Mark Casey in the house. And we have our special guest appearances and actors and actresses, actor and actresses. We have the one and only Hawthorne James in the house. <laughs> in the house, we also have yeah, Joya in yeah. the house. <laughs> hey, everybody. We we have bombs now. Miss Sorrell in the house. In the With house the, the cast from the all hot new movie that's premiering, debuting actually here in Minnesota tomorrow night, uh, Flint Tail. The Flint Tale is debuting tomorrow night here in Egan, Minnesota, and I'd like to start it off with Mr. Casey. Mark, tell everyone about the uh, the movie. While we're waiting for Mark to come back on, then I'm going to take it over. Uh, to Koya, let us know. Tell us about the movie why Mark is coming on here. <laughs> I can do that. Okay. Uh, so Flintel actually follows a family that is dealing with, well, I don't want to give the movie away because, of course, everybody in Minnesota has to go see it. But um, uh, the family is dealing with, of course, some normal day-to-day -day drama with some heightened drama as well, where they've been uh, releasing a releasement from prison. Uh, the, of course, the water crisis and just the loss of dreams. So as the family navigates through those challenges. It's going to be a lot of bumps Director, and curves, a lot of waves, Monica a lot of shocking from Minnesota. and surprises from... in the movie. Um, so it's a good As the drama, family navigates but through those challenges, like it's going to be a lot of bumps Director, and curves, a lot of waves, Monica a lot of shocking from Minnesota. All right, okay. something going on there. Um, so it's a good Does anybody, the anybody the have their device up? Through those challenges, it's going to be a lot of bumps and curves, a lot of waves, a lot of shocking from Minnesota. All right, something going on there. Okay. All right, somebody has something up. Yep, I probably had the volume up on. Okay, so getting through that, if you can kind of, because we got some of it to call you a repeat just of the last part. You guys hear me? Said. Yes, we hear you, Mark. Yes, making sure. Can you hear me too? Or yes. Okay. Uh, no, I was just saying that the family goes through some bumps in in the road, whether it be lost dreams, dealing with lawsuits. Oh. Um, trying to nope. save reputation. I, I can't hear anything, guys. Y'all can hear me? Yes, we can yes. hear you, Mark. Well, I can hear you. I should say I can hear you. I don't know about everybody else. Okay. We hear you clearly. Yep, clearly. <clears throat> it went down for a second, so. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So, um, Mark, Thank you so much, Takoya. So, Mark, let us know no, now. I'm Tell not. us, you know, what's going on, and and you got your big debut this uh, this weekend. This weekend is your big day. It's your big day. Mark Casey is here. Um, we got the actors and the actresses. All on James is here. Sprell Wilkerson, Takoya Harris. Mark is touching wires, and, and it, it's I don't just know what going down tonight, ain't it? <laughs> you you know, know, Mark been traveling. <laughs> as a movie director, you don't touch no wires, man. You should know that from the beginning. No, you're touching all type of wires. Mark, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Mark is a Mark is an all hands on deck. Type yeah. Of. Right. Yeah, see. You know what, Demonica? Let's go with somebody else. Okay. Let's just keep it going. We're gonna keep it going. Keep it positive and let's go. Oh yeah. Go. So Hawthorne, yes, the one and only Hawthorne James in the house. Yes. 
Yeah. Hot on. Let the listeners know now. What what part are you playing in the uh, movie? And let us know about the movie. I played the ex chief of police who was uh, thrown in the jail. Started asking questions about who's responsible for what, and uh, in the process process of doing that, he starts to question what he has been doing all of his life and how he has uh, uh, hurt his own community. And he starts rearranging everything. So that's it for my feeling. Okay. All right. So the, the, the ex-chief, the chief of police there, the ex-chief of police, Hawthorne James. And Sorrell, what is your position uh -huh. in the movie? Hi, I actually play Hawthorne's oldest daughter. I'm pretty defiant, rude, mean. Um, I'm hated. Oh. <laughs> um, and I play Sequoia, who plays Chastity. I play her older sister. So I'm, I'm the oldest child. And um, I go through a lot of emotional uh, trauma in the film. I'm upset at my father dating a younger woman. That's basically my age. Um, he's dealing with, you know, coming out of prison. He wasn't there. Uh, I turned to stripping to make money to make ends meet. Um, and uh, my sister's trying to pursue basketball and she ends up getting injured. So it's kind of like career cut short and uh, make a long story short without telling the movie. I mean, <laughs> it's 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 a roller coaster ride. And uh, I had fun with the character. Hopefully I was able to bring this character to life for Mr. Casey. And uh, I had fun. It was a privilege and an honor working, I think, Shakola, um, Marie, Cheryl, Cheryl Rich, Shakola Thompson, Marie LaMail, Mark Casey for the opportunity, um, Carol Murphy, and Hawthorne. It was, I mean, it's iconic. It was, it was an honor allowing him to be my daddy. I loved every bit of it. Oh, the daddy. Uh, okay. <laughs> Shout out for Hawthorne for being a daddy. <laughs> And then, daddy. Yeah, and then Sequoia, it was a pleasure being her sister. Um, I apologize to everyone on camera. I cursed out and blessed out. It is not who I am. <laughs> I am a nice soul. I love the Lord. And it was an honor to be a part of this film. And I just hope everyone appreciates it, enjoys it. You're going to learn a lot. Mark did a, a great job on bringing facts. Even the people of Flint agreed that he brought all the facts. And so it was just a privilege to do this and hope people just appreciate it and receive it the way we want them to. Well, we definitely can't wait to see it. You know, I'm, we're so honored to have you on the show this evening. I'm excited. I can't wait till tomorrow comes so I can see the actual movie and, uh, and see Mark's work. You know, finally, I get to see another Mark Casey production here with the best of the best here. Now I see Mr. Casey, Casey went on camera again. again. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, I don't know what he's doing with the with the wires here, but I'm gonna turn it over to Scarfo in the house. Scarfo. Yeah, here we go. You know, this is when it gets really fun to me. You know, I get to ask y'all some questions. Okay, so about the movie, how long did it take for y'all to actually do this movie? Was it just instant? Um, you know, the way y'all came on and just knocked it out. How long did it take? Whole lot going on. Uh, there, so who's there? Answer that question. I don't mind answering. Yeah, I, 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 missed, I missed the oh. question too because I, I think my phone cut out that time. Um, it it took. We started filming. Um, when we started filming was um, November, December of 2019, before pre-COVID. Um, and then we followed up and did some more stuff in February, and then we had some pickup ADR shots that we had to do uh what fall or something october september august september of 2020 we did was it 20 you guys am i tripping? I think it might be 18 night oh, was, it, was it that long ago oh my god <laughs> i know covid has lasted a lot longer than unfortunately. okay so 2018 uh november december 2018 we did some more filming in February of 2019 and follow up pickup shots August 2019. No, 19. No, 19, yeah. 19, because it was pre COVID. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think I got it right. I'm sorry, guys. 
<laughs> no, that's that sounds right. I think a lot okay. of it. I think a lot of it. Once we were actually going to get into the momentum part of it, COVID hit very, very shortly after. Yeah, so and everything from there just kind of halted. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And sounds so right. it's. Mm-hmm. So um, let's just talk uh, in depth. Um, let's talk about y'all self personally. Uh, let's start with Hawthorne. You seem to be the hot one right now. So let's talk talk about um, how you began to become this actor. Well, you know that that that's a long long story, but it in in the short well, at least way. It ended up with some like when I went to. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it started. It started in my childhood, uh, and there's always, you know, like in high school and stuff. I had to make the choice between playing ball and and being in another. I, I always got to always being in the play. The coaches would be so mad, even when I got to college, because I went to uh, Notre Dame for undergrad, and uh, I, they didn't want me to be a theater major because it took too much time away. But I said, I, mean, I don't care. And I, you know, I, I just happened to be good at playing ball, uh, and but it wasn't what I wanted to do. It was always, it was always something about theater that wanted me to do. And in high school, I tell you, one thing that cemented it, I was doing a play in high school, and I was in Cassopolis, Michigan. I was born and raised in Chicago, but my last two years of high school, we moved to uh, Southwest Michigan, a small little place called Vandalia. But I went to high school in Cassopolis. And I was getting ready to go out on stage. And this girl that I really liked came up backstage and she kissed me. And I went out on stage. Wait a minute, you like Elvis. Line that I had. Okay. You like Elvis. Right? But but to this day, I, I think I'm not, not allowed uh, any, uh, a woman to kiss me before I go out on stage because it was like, it was. It, it took me five minutes to get my wits back about me on stage, but oh. that's the minute that dream. But when I was at Notre Dame, I became a theater major, and uh, I started doing a lot of lot of plays. Uh, uh, I was selling off, off campus. Uh, I taught for two years after I got my master's from the University of Michigan. I taught for two years at Illinois State, and I decided that it was time for me to try and make that move to see if I could do it. And it was either going to New York or LA. And I knew one girl I was living with at the time. She moved to LA for uh, for her degree, finished her degree. So I, she's the only person I knew in LA. So I moved to LA. Started doing a lot of theater in LA. And at that time, we didn't even get a dime ass money. We were just doing theater to get better at the craft, to understand who we were, uh, to make connections. And I, indeed, I did make connections because my first movie, uh, uh, was the uh, Disco Godfather, Rudy Ray Moore, Disco Godfather. And oh. uh, and that was the connect through the inner city culture center where I was doing a lot of theater. Oh. And it just started from there. And then, you know, you, you just get a little parts here, little parts there. I, I, I became union member through uh, Penitentiary 2 because I played a referee in that movie. Oh. And so, you know, you just start working up. But you at, at the same time, I was still having to, to put that bread on. My last nine to five job actually was uh, I was at TriStar Pictures. I was one of the highest black executives in Hollywood. And, Ooh, okay. and, and I left there and, and been working as an actor since 1986. Mm. Man. Wow. wow. <laughs> yeah. That's what amazing. A you know, nice I'm, always, <laughs> I'm, I'm always amazed at everybody's story how totally different it really is mm-hmm. like even when, when we start asking them the story is going to change each person mm-hmm. you know so, so this is amazing to me you know to hear your story you know you've been in the game for quite some time and and now man you just you hear it telling real stories this is it right here this is the organic way to talk to people right here mm-hmm. Yes. Oh yeah. You know, and, and it's funny because once I got to LA and started doing theater, uh Ted Lange, who played the bartender in, in the Love Boat, to go to London and at the London Shakespeare Academy. And I was there for several months. 
in London. So it's the every uh, Sorrell's journey is going to be different to, than Takoya's. I, my journey is different than anybody else's that I that I know. We all get there, but we but one thing that you have to have in common is a lot of hard work and dedication. I'm very serious about this craft because how joke. They will tear your heart out and laugh because it's funny to them. Hmm. But the journey is there. Mm-hmm. And and to, to be to work with very talented people and, and to be have been as blessed as I have been to our first union movie was the color purple. So it goes from mm-hmm. there. You know, I've worked with everybody. I've worked with Spiel, I've one and only actors in the world that ever worked with in been in two Steven Spielberg movies. Uh and, and and Robert Townsend to give me that break, and then and watch Decoya to sing, and she worked her way into a position of producing. Hmm. And and I don't know what she wants to do, whether she wants to stay and produce, whether she wants to be a full time producer or or stay with being an actress, but she could do either. I, I, you know, we, we, we preciously need producers. So I'm kind of secretly in the back of my head hoping that she wants to produce because she'll be great at it, I think. And Look, we need I'm people secret, like I'm her. I'm secretly behind my head every day. So uh, this no. is normal for me. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I mean, as, as well, I mean, the, the hunger and the thirst and to the, the, the the desire to get better at what you do, you know, that was that's what I like about being around that's their ambition. And and it sort of reminded me, you know, as as you get older and 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 things don't, you know, don't interest you as much. It they kind of reminded me of what why I got into this business. The hunger, the thirst that was there. Mm-hmm. And to be around that, you know, energizes me and I need that. If I'm if, I, mm-hmm. if I'm going to stay around, I'm going to need people to show me why I first got into this business. And we definitely value your expertise. I know it was an honor for uh, all of them to work with you. So, yeah, that's amazing. And uh, oh, just to let you know, Wes popped on for a minute. Wes moving. He said, "Hey, hello, and how are you?" So he sent a shout out to Wes. Pink money in the house. So we have different I, people hey, that's popping on. I saw on. Wes on that. Hey, Wes. <laughs> hey, Wes. Hey, Wes. Right, right. I yeah. don't know you, but hey. Twin Cities Radio hey, Network. I don't know today, but, you know, everybody's here. <laughs> okay. And now I want to ask Takoya. So, Takoya, since he mentioned you, now how did you get your start? Like, how did you become where, to this level to where you're at acting in that? Yeah, uh, so I actually started as a dancer. I've been dancing all my life um, and stopped actually when I got to LA, but I been dancing all my, was dancing all my life, did four and a half years as an NFL cheerleader uh, coming out of college. And then um, time was in out, New York for time, a year. Time out, time out, back up, back up. Uh-oh. You said something about some cheerleader. Where were you cheerleading at? I was, I, was a, I was an NFL cheerleader while I was, while I was in DC. So Redskins. Correct. Well, they're not that anymore, but yes. Oh, yeah, they call Washington. Oh, oh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Just one moment, Scarfo. You have to add Mark again. Oh, here we go. Here come my man okay. Wires. Okay. <laughs> okay. I apologize. Okay. Okay, so you started out as uh, with the NFL, that's, and then let's go from there. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Um, I think it was from... Uh, I spent a year in New York, and while I was in New York is when I really realized I wanted to sh- make the shift from uh, dancing to acting full-time. Um, going to high school, we always put on productions, musicals, and plays, and I was always, you know, lead dancer, but not always picked for the acting roles because, you know, a soloist might not be my calling. But um, I got to L.A., was able to, uh, now been here for six years, so been able to do acting uh study um the craft it's a daily it's a daily study and mm-hmm. i um just was able to do different th- projects whether it be shorts which is actually how i met sorrel so S- sorrel and i um were in a short together mm-hmm. which was my oh. first short that i had in la and then did a web series which afforded me the opportunity to win best actress in miami's 
uh, Web Fest in 2019. And from there, I literally was on my way to brunch. Seriously. Wow. On my way to brunch. And Carol, <clears throat> one of the producers, posted about the audition that had like Hawthorne's face on it. Hawthorne and Erica Peoples' face on it at the time. And I'm on my way to brunch. And I was like, I mean, I already kind of had plans. <laughs> but I feel like something's telling me I should go. And I just remember my husband looking at me like, we're going home, aren't we? I was like, yeah, I'm going to go to the audition. Um, and I laugh now because I actually auditioned for Sorrell's role, not knowing what it was. Uh, because I just knew in the character breakdown, it was like, oh, dancer-ish type of person. I was like, oh, should be me. I did. <laughs> uh, so I did this whole thing. With Mark, where he was like, "Oh, let's let's act out a scene," and I guess I in that moment I got like made it, I got shifted it and made it emotional at the time. <laughs> that wasn't the scene, but we made it up at the spot. Uh, we were just kind of doing some improvisation, and I remember standing up, and Mark was like, "Can you play basketball?" And I'm like, uh, "Well, I mean, I did it like in seventh grade, and then I stopped <laughs> when I got to high school." He's like, but you, you're like good enough to do it in a movie? And I was just like, yeah. He's like, all right, well, we'll, we'll keep in touch. I was like, okay. <laughs> Not sure what that I was like, clearly I didn't get the role I really auditioned for. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and then was just really excited to find out that I had got uh, the role of Chastity instead, who was, like Sorrell said, what plays the younger sister. Um, so it was just really great because at that point, I'm also from Chicago. And of course, like anybody else, I grew up watching Hawthorne and so many things. I mean, everybody can quote him from Five Heartbeats, but like if y'all knew how much my mom loves Speed, like I have seen yeah. Hawthorne and Speed 12,000 times mm -hmm. because that's how much she loves that movie too. <laughs> so I like growing up watching that movie, for me, I was, I was starstruck already. And then when I found out he was from Chicago, I was like, oh. I should have known. So all I all the great like, growing up watching that. So movie. for me, that's how I was uh, getting here, like, and, and then when I found out, I was super excited. The like, Flint oh, Tale was actually my is actually so my first feature film. So, so for me, always how, grateful to Mr. Uh, Mark Casey for allowing me to do that. I'm super excited. The Flint Tale was actually my first feature film. So. Yeah, Mark touching oh, wait, all the wires. I, I don't know okay, what's going on. I'll bet I can hear you now. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that was Mark phone making all that noise. That's why yeah. I just make sure, you know. <laughs> and, 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 uh, I'm going to say this. We're going to put some respect on Mark name tonight. Uh, right. He, he didn't mean to touch the wires again. He just didn't mean. He didn't mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say this. We're going to put some respect on Mark name tonight. Right. So it's a little bit of repeat behind it. Yeah, so repeat. That's because somebody has an actual thing up. So you got to get rid of that. A little bit of repeat behind it. So I can't Mark, hear you guys. You, Mark? So that's why we have to <laughs> repeat. That's not me. Okay. Wait a no, that's not you. Look, I just muted Mark again because he like touched on pictures in there with the, with the wires. <laughs> so if you notice, it's all gone again. So Mark, you gotta get rid of that iPhone yeah, three, yeah. dude. <laughs> Here we go. Somebody talk. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it over to Mark now. Mark, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> welcome to the show. Okay, we got everything together now. Okay, so tell us now. This is your big, you know, tomorrow here in Minnesota. Your uh, your movies uh, debuting I'm here my in Egan, Minnesota. The phone. Okay. He can't hear. Okay, okay. go on. We're going to no, the next. Gone. Okay, <laughs> Sorrel, can you hear me, Sorrel? I, I, I okay. hear you loud. Okay, okay. thank you. I'm gonna have to get Mark. You know what? You guys get Mark. I, I, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna text him. Mark, what are you doing? I was like, I, every time Mark, I'm just grabbing this. That's where I reach for. It's so far right away. Let me tell y'all right now. All of y'all sound like sound perfect. You sound amazing. I, don't I know told you. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what's going on, man. He, <laughs> you know, he said he was in Istanbul, and I don't know. <laughs> I, 
So, Sorrel, welcome to the show once again. Let us know, like, what? How did you become one of the actresses mm -hmm. on the show, and how did your, uh, how did you become being an actress in that? Um, I actually knew a guy named Javon Fuller in Los Angeles, and he's always connecting me to different people. And he's like, "You got to be my girl, Shakola. She's always working on stuff." And I'm like, "Okay." It took me over a month to call her because it was always that procrastinating. Okay, I'm going to call her. I'm going to call her. You just don't know who's working on something. And something told me. I think I came off of a fast. And I was like, I need to call that girl he told me to call. Then I call her. She's like, yeah, we're shooting a movie in Flint. I'm like, oh, my God. All my family's in Flint, Michigan. And she's like, really? She's like, I'm like, yeah. She's like, so she connects me to Carol Murphy, another producer. And I auditioned for Chastity, <clears throat> which is Takoya's role, as well as Destiny, the role I got. I used to play professional basketball overseas. I played college ball at Florida and university, played professionally overseas. I was like, oh, that's a given. That's my life. <laughs> and when I, oh, I'm sorry, and I, I auditioned for that and I auditioned for the role of my best friend. But when they narrowed down, they took away the chastity role from me. So I think it was like, hey, you fit these three roles, but we want you to audition for these two, which was Kiki and Destiny, the role I'm, I played. And so I auditioned for the best friend. It was like, well, we're not sure who we want you to be because we like you in both. And I'm like, well, I'll take any role, you know? <laughs> and then next thing I know, they're like, you know, we want you to play the role of destiny. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, and then fast forwarding time, Carol gets on the phone and she's like, hey, Sorrel, I want you to meet the girl playing your sister. Mind you, I got cast from Seattle, Washington. I'm, I used to live in LA for 10 years. Now I just go to LA for work. <clears throat> I'm in Seattle. She's in LA. And she's like, Takoya meet Sorrel, she's playing your sister. Sorrel meet Takoya. Both of us have unique names. I'm like, it ain't but one Takoya. And <laughs> she's like, Sorrel, Takoya? She's like, you guys know each other? Ah! And it's just this whole <laughs> moment that happens with us. And fast forwarding time, you know, I find out in that moment that Takoya used to cheerlead for the Redskins, which now are just the Washington. <clears throat> um, and so we're literally opposite of each other. I'm a, I'm a hooper professionally. She's the professional dancer. In the movie, we swipe, not realizing each other was each other's opposite of each other. Opposite, I'm yeah. Hooper professionally. So I'm like on camera, I'm like, Jesus, help me. Takoya, Kiki, Tori plays Kiki. I'm like, you guys help me with these dance moves. I'm like, Takoya, I'm you and you're me. Like, we were literally <laughs> helping each other. So it worked out perfect that I was able to go to her. She was able to come to me. And You'll see it on camera. <laughs> well, you know, yes, Sorrel definitely that, coached me with the basketball. She was ready with the basketball moves. I was Shout ready. Out to Sorrel. Oh, I Shout love out her. To Sorrel is the basketball coach. <laughs> I was going to say, so I know she had to coach you. <laughs> wow, that's wonderful. So now we got Mr. Casey back on. Welcome Mark. back. Well, I'm not sure. Can you guys hear me? Oh, listen, listen. I've never heard you better. He took the headphones off. You sound electrifying, so just talk. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Great. No, I, they, I have a, they have an update on iPhone. That's what the problem is. And then I have an iMac, and that needed to update as well. So if you don't update your phone, it jams you up. Oh, I know about that. Yeah. But so check this out. We're not talking about the phone update right face. now. We're uh, not going to talk about the update. We're going to yeah. talk about this movie, Flint Tail. Okay. <laughs> Great. So obviously I missed most of what you guys were saying. This was a pleasure for me. Uh, I, ha I happened to work with uh, Mr. Hawthorne James for the second time. Uh, he did a movie with me called A Day of Trouble uh, with Kathleen Bradley and uh, Omar Gooden. And uh, that was quite interesting. Uh, and I, at that point there, I knew he had the range that I was looking for to play his father. And uh, so when I sent him the role, uh, initially he didn't know that I wrote the movie really through the, to the, through the chief's uh, life. So it wasn't a small role, it was a major role. Uh, so, you know, he, he actually got involved. I was excited because he got involved in it. And when I say got involved, he, he started adding things and saying we should do this and do that. Some directors get a, you know, can't handle that, but I've been in the game long enough and dealt with a lot of uh, stage actors that I'm used to it. And um, sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. 
but a lot of his input was a blessing. It uh, it made me do more research, and uh, because he started researching, um, Cyril originally did audition for that role, but uh, just to keep it one hundred, Cyril had a little attitude, and um, I thought the attitude worked better because I have two daughters. I have a soft daughter and a I shouldn't say that because they probably listening. But I have I have a, a, a daughter. Shout out that, for the that, attitude. That rough around the edges. Can you guys hear me? Okay, I have a daughter that a little bit more. You know. Anyway, uh, I have one. So so actually, to to Koya at the audition actually teared up and cried. So at that point, it was like forget Sorrell. She too mean anyway, and she can play the the better. Uh, the mean the, the daughter that's that's you know I have to work a little bit harder for, and uh, so that's what that's how Cyril lost the role, <laughs> you know. And sometimes it sometimes is is important when you do audition, um, you know, to get more insight on your character. A lot of times actors don't do that as much as they used to back in the day, and they don't get a lot of insight. A lot of times they just get one sheet or they get a little bit. And I, 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 you know, I'm impressed when actors ask me a bunch of questions at auditions. Sometimes it's irritating, but I can see that, oh, okay, this person really wants to know what this character is about and who it, is, who it is, because they can deliver a good audition, but it might not be the, uh, the character that I'm looking for them to play. And that's somewhat what happened with Cyril. I said, oh, no, I got another role that I want you to play. And that's how Takoya got her role, and that's how Cyril got her role. Wow. Now I have a, I have a delay. I don't know if you guys get the same delay. No, you're good. No. Okay, then we, I'm not going to worry about it. You are absolutely <laughs> look, you cannot touch another wire in there. <laughs> Nothing. All right. <laughs> you sound great. So Mark, what made you actually uh want to do the movie about Flint, Michigan? I mean, you're from Michigan, so what I mean is it because you're from Michigan or let the listeners know what made you want to, to compel on doing this movie? Um, no, it had nothing to do with, well, I, I'll be lying if I say that. Uh, obviously, uh, it touched me deeply because uh, Flint is only like 45 minutes away from Detroit. And if it's that close, it can affect my family that lives in Detroit. So obviously, that touched me deeply. Originally, Cher had a project called Flint. Cher, you know, Sonny and Cher from back in the day. Um, I'm dating myself, but she had a show. They had a movie called Flint that they were trying to do. And uh, I guess the, uh, Cher wanted too much money and Lifetime uh, said no and gave it to Queen Latifah. So Queen Latifah actually did the project. And I was trying to navigate to direct it because I said, hey, that's in Michigan. I better direct this. And so my navigation with Queen Latifah, I've dealt with her in the past and and we have some issues that I haven't worked out, I guess. And it didn't happen. And someone else directed it. And they directed the movie out of Canada. And and they only they 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 literally never went to Flint at all. Oh, they, wow. they had a crew go do some steals or postcard shots, they call. So they it didn't have the feel that I when I saw it, I was like, wow, this is this doesn't look like Flint to me. I'm from Michigan. So I, I decided, uh, I didn't decide to do another Flint movie because I said, it's already touched on. So mm -hmm. I, I, I went to, I, I was hired to do another movie called Ready for the World, a biopic. And I went there to do a biopic. And when I got to Flint, I said, whoa, this is worse than I thought it was. You know, uh, people were using bottles and there was lines of people getting bottled water. I said, wait a minute, uh, let, I don't think uh, the Lifetime movie really touched on what's really going on. So... I'm going to touch on it. And I dropped the Ready for the World movie and uh, immediately started writing uh, Flint Tale and started meeting with individuals, uh, watching documentaries, uh, hanging out up in Flint. Uh, it, it was it was quite uh, interesting uh, uh, endeavor for me to see how the, the people up there were going through, uh, what they were going through. And that's what inspired me to do the movie is, uh, is I thought I, I can do a, uh, a better job a, a, or more intense job by hiring uh, locals and also by um, being 
uh, filming in Flint uh, because they shot in Canada. So real quick, I, I when I went to Flint to start doing the, uh, the I did the pre-production up in Flint. I almost got ran out of there, uh, literally. I mean, by the Caucasian and the blacks up there. They didn't want me up there. They thought I was from Queen Latifah's camp. And um, I had to explain to them, hey, no, no, this is not a part two. This is a new production. I'm using uh, Flint people in the movie. And once they found out I was using Flint uh, people and shooting in Flint, they embraced the project. And the Flint Developmental Center with Michael Harris that gave us the hub. That was our hub there. We used the oldest Coney Island, uh, almost in, you know, in Michigan. Uh, uh, Angelo's was closed now, so it was best to use Angelo's. Yeah. And I immediately started trying to assemble my uh, cast at that point. And um, I, when I started writing the chief of police, I used to be a Detroit police officer as well. Uh, I worked in, the, it, and it was a guy named Chief Hart. And I really respected him. He actually went to jail. <laughs> Chief Hart went to jail. And um, he came through the ranks of a guy named Benny Napoleon. And these people that I grew up with and uh, admired as police officers. And Benny just passed away as well. Uh, he was a sheriff uh, in uh, Detroit. So when I started writing the character, I immediately thought about Hawthorne. I didn't have anyone else in mind uh, to play. Uh, that's why the, the character name is Chief, Chief Hartwell, because I played on the word of Hart uh, instead of using the real uh, chief of Detroit named Hart, uh, who I married. And who went to jail. I said, well, I'm going to take a little bit of his life and, and make uh, Hawthorne character go to jail. So that's why the character uh, has that spin of going to jail because of some of the corruption that went on. And and Chief Hart never um, never was really uh, proven guilty. He actually never, he always said he was innocent and the money that fell out the roof <laughs> was money he was tucking away. So he, it, it was, right. and, and, and that's why I kind of played on that when, when Hawthorne character that, no, he's I'm innocent. I, I didn't do this. So yeah, so my real life story dealing with the uh, Detroit Police Department and my two daughters is what culminated uh, me to do this film and add the water as uh, uh, a, ba a backdrop, if you will, uh, to my personal life. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's amazing. I'm so glad that you know you touched on it to see it from another view because. I can't wait to see it. We actually, I'm gonna say, we can't wait to see it. So yeah, it comes out tomorrow in three locations. Um, uh, Vision Films is the company who's distributing the movie. Uh, is at uh, Saginaw. It opens tomorrow in Saginaw uh, at the Portage. No, no, I'm sorry, Saginaw at the Imagine Theater. It's called a Quality Ten in Saginaw. It is only one theater in Saginaw, so it's not that hard for you guys to find it. Then it also plays tomorrow at uh, at the um, Damn, I just left Gary, Indiana. Oh, Gary, Gary yeah. Indiana, uh, at the um, the Portage uh, Ten. I mean, the Portage Sixteen. Uh, and then it also plays in Egan, Minnesota. So, if you guys ever heard of Egan, Minnesota, is it Egan, Minnesota? Uh, those are three <laughs> locations that it's going to be playing at, and it plays all week long. I'm just yeah, letting you know, I'm not going shows. to Egan. I'm not, I'm not going to Egan. It's going to be playing. Uh, besides Will Smith movie, uh, besides. Uh, Erica Peoples' other movie, Two to the Game. So we, it's, it's, it's a regular showing of this film. And um, uh, up in Saginaw, and I haven't went got to Egan yet, but man, uh, I think the number's going to do pretty well because Gary, Indiana, really has embraced oh. me here in Gary. I mean, oh, yeah. it's, I mean, I've gotten uh, the University of Indiana called me. They get they 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 bringing some people out. I I, I kind of made a pseudo red carpet premiere for them for Wednesday. I'm gonna take one of the nights uh, that we showing Wednesday and have that. Uh, in in Saginaw, did the yeah, same thing. Uh, the community, community got involved, so we're gonna do uh, a premiere on Sunday uh, in Saginaw. So I'm literally like zigzagging the country, um, going to Hollywood on Saturday. We have a premiere uh, with the indie night. Uh, a uh, guy named Dave Brown, who is the management for Jamie Foxx, uh, he's uh, throwing me up a premiere with his festival called uh, Indie Night. And that's going to be on Hollywood Boulevard at the uh, prestigious uh, Chinese theater. Um, that one is going to be on Saturday. So I fly there for that. And I, then I fly from there to Saginaw, from Saginaw back down to Gary. So I'm, I'm doing I'm doing a run around 
and because I'm literally passing out flyers, barber shops, beauty salons, <laughs> you know, the whole nine yards, and and they so happy when they see Big Red. Oh, is that Big Red? Oh, you know, so, <laughs> so that, that character is very iconic, and yeah. you know, and one of those cities they want to see you there, hard on. They be, they, they want one of those cities. Say, well, are, are you gonna bring one of them stars in? I said, I'm trying to see what I can do. <laughs> you know? So I got four cities that uh, they want to see Hawthorne James for sure uh, in one of those cities, Los Angeles, Saginaw, Gary, Indiana, and, and Portage. Well, I'm missing one in Egan, Minnesota. Egan, yeah. <laughs> we definitely Egan. want to see you here in Minnesota. <laughs> Scarfo. Oh. It's back to me now? Okay. Yes, it's back to you, yes. Are you outside the Twin Cities? Yeah, it sounds, it sounds like uh, it, it's, it's going to be an incredible thing. I'm wishing y'all nothing but success, big views, big big turnouts. Um, I got to check the movie out myself and check it out because, you know, I like these type of you know documentary type of movies anyway. Um, but, hey, who's next? Because I got to get out the way right now. You know, I, I want to you know, kind of give y'all the spotlight on this one. All right, Demonica, ask some questions. Holla. <laughs> no, I just, I, you know, like I said, I'm, uh, we're really excited. And, you know, one thing about Mr. Casey's movies, he always has uh, at the ending, um, are you going to have that? I know you can't tell about the ending, but I'm sure you're going to leave us with a little cliffhanger, right? <laughs> On this particular show or... He always has a message with his movie. So that's what I admire about his work. And, and I respect him. We have a lot of people that's popping up. Uh, gentleman from Connecticut. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Nagolia Santos. He said, I hope it can be played at the Bowtown Criterion Theater in downtown New Haven, Connecticut. That's Gola. I used to play basketball with him. It's funny Gola, that you okay. said basketball. So, you know, I clicked on him. That's Gola sent yo. He was fast. I can tell y'all that right. Oh. He was real fast on the court. Shout out to Gola. The pink money's popping up on here. Pink money, Zephyr Daniels, the movie. Yeah. Mike Deco. We have a lot of people popping up on here. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn it back over, uh, Mark, just for one moment. I want to ask uh, Sorrell some more questions. So now that yeah, um, and I I'd, I'd like to get everybody on here again. So Sorrell, um, what was it like playing with, uh, especially working with Mark? <laughs> what was that experience <laughs> like? It you was. Must have Mark. <laughs> he was like, it's going to be very interesting to hear this. <laughs> My smile says it all. Um, it was. Um, Intense. I will never forget <laughs> working with Mr. Mark Casey. This is, it was an experience. It was a journey. It was a movie itself making the movie. Oh. It was a movie itself making the movie. We were in snow. It was freezing. With the hours, I'm going to tell you this, and Tapoya cracked up. I remember we were um, <clears throat> rooming together in an um, Airbnb during filming in Detroit. And me, one of the cameramen, one of the producers, and someone else, we were all in the car. We were so tired. From We went from Flint. We had to go back to Detroit, you know, filming. And she's laughing already. We were at a red light. We were so tired. We all fell asleep at the light. And somebody humped. And then we woke up and we're like, oh, my God, Foster, wake up, wake up. And we're like. Then we go. That's how tired we were. It was long days, um, but it was worth it in the end. Um, working with him, again, it was a journey. It was a movie itself. That's all I can say. And I am not me. Everybody that knows me knows I am not me. Now, maybe I have an edge because I'm competitive. I'm a hooper, so I'm competitive. Mm -hmm. You know, but I am well, a yeah, nice well, person. I guess the word mean is not the I right love, word. I love the Lord, okay? Yeah. I am a nice person. I love the Lord too. <laughs> <laughs> but hold up, you, you love the Lord, but y'all listen to a little bit of Fifty Cent every now and again. So L little bit. So <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was definitely fun, and um, oh, uh, it was it. an experience that uh, I will never forget. I will cherish. I will forever have memories and laughs. And this movie again, um, 
you know, you, you film and you don't know how it's going to come out because you're just filming, filming. You're like, how do I look on camera? How do I sound? What face was I making? Did I make an ugly cry face? Was it cute? Like, you just, <laughs> it goes all in your head. And then the whole time you're like, is the director liking this? Does he, because he kept, he was on me. I said, real, you got, you got to bring it. I mean, he was on my head. And I'm like, Sequoia, I'm like, sister, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. And and then he broke down, I remember telling me about his daughters. And then that's when I realized I was like, this touches home with him. This yeah. is different. And then I was like, I just remember just praying like, God, I just want to bring this character to life. This is his story. I want to tell it through his eyes. And I just pray I do the role justice. And, you know, when it's all said and done, you watch the film and you're like, look how it came together. And then when I saw it for the first time in Michigan with all of my family, we had two sold out shows. It was so nerve wracking for me because again, you're sitting there, you haven't seen the movie, you haven't seen any outtakes, any pickups. You're just like, here we go. What did they keep? What they didn't keep, you know? Mm -hmm. And then it was, it was such an honor. And I felt so proud being a part of it when it was done. It was just, it was an honor. That's it was a straight honor when it was all completed. I'm like, oh my god, this turned out way better than I thought. And so, what? Yeah. Oh, stop, Mark. <laughs> it was you thinking, <laughs> damn it. No, 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 no. It wasn't. It wasn't like I thought it was bad. But you got to think when you're, you know, you're running. I'm joking. Fumes, I'm joking. I'm joking. You know, you're running on fumes from sleeping. You're learning lines. You know, you're driving from Flint to Detroit. You're in LA doing ADR. You're going all these places. And then when it's finally all said and done and the final product happens, it's kind of like a, wow, we did it. And, 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 and then when you see it and you're just, I'm appreciative to, for even being a part of a film subject matter like this, especially because I got family that lives in Flint. They right, were hit right. by the water. Mm -hmm. My uncle Quincy Marshall was actually going to run for mayor prior to passing. He had to get his legs amputated. He's cleaning his legs in filthy water. Wow. You know, it's you just like, yeah. it's, it's crazy. My family is affected. The heart of my family is in Flint. So this is such home for me. And so it was just a pleasure. It was just crazy how the Lord works with connecting me with Shakola and then Mark. And this is based in Flint and my family's in Flint. It was nobody but God. And so again, it's just, it was an honor just being a part of it. And, um, I can't wait for everybody to see it. It is going to be streaming, if I'm not correct, Prime Video, Apple TV, and Tubi TV, December 14th. So no, 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 not, 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 Tubi. not Tubi. Not Tubi, not Tubi. Mm -hmm. So Apple TV and Prime Video will be able to see it. So even if you don't catch it in the theaters, for those watching online, you can catch it streaming December 14th. So, you know, well, make it's sure... Gonna, it's going to be uh, uh, streaming, uh, uh, they call it uh, uh, video on demand mm -hmm. for three months, and then... Uh, uh, most likely it's going to be on Netflix. Uh, nice. That's what that's was told cool. to me today. Um, but it's going to do the it's going to do the VOD first. Uh, if just to give you guys some education on the new the new way they're doing films now, they used to cut me a they used to cut me a big check and give me an advance. They don't do that anymore. They do uh, video on demand and see who buys it or who rents it. So it's going to be on all the streaming sites to uh, to. Uh, the ones that have VOD, um, um, the um, Tubi is what they call A, which is an advertisement uh, 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 platform. So you don't you don't buy there; you just watch. So uh, it's gonna be on like Vudu and all the ones that you can buy, like the gaming, all the PlayStation, all that stuff, and and, and most likely uh, some some uh, cruise ships and stuff like that for three months, and then they do the the Netflix and and hopefully BET and all that other stuff, other stuff, uh, uh, the broadcasts. And uh, uh, they also will be, have, they have a DVD, which I didn't, it wasn't my choice, but they said there's still a market for DVD. I just didn't want to be charged for it because just like the record, DVD. They, they charge you for everything the di distribution company does. So uh, I was against doing a DVD, but they was adamant saying, no, oh, there's still a market out there. So uh, they created a DVD with a beautiful cover uh, made to call you look like she was like A-list superstar, you know, Sanaa Latham. And it was, matter of fact, matter of fact, their graphics department 
taught me a lot. I, I would never use anything less than what they did uh, with this distribution company. Their graphics took uh, the poster that I had to the neck. Uh, the poster is phenomenal that uh, we have now. They took my poster and redid it. And it was worth every nickel that they're charging me for, <laughs> you know, to do it. Uh, and I, I'm actually learning as well uh, because the game has changed, you know, as far as distribution. So we we are blessed to, to get, we're getting a lot of reviews. Uh, we got three publicists on this thing here. Um, and, you know, they are out there trying to do the, the shadow and act and the griot and the deadline and all that. They, they're working real hard. And uh, we got a review today, which I think I, is important to talk about. The review today was really good. They say that because of all the storyline between the, the daughter and the father, um, the water, the water issue wasn't Mordain. It wasn't boring for them uh, because they got to see other issues in the family. And that's what I wanted to do. I didn't want to make it too boring just dealing with the water because remember Flynn, uh, Queen Latifah already talked about it. So I had to come at it a different way. And that, even the distributors and norm, uh, initially was like, nobody wants to see a movie about the water. We already know about the water. And I was like, no, we have a story here. And once they watched it, it was like, oh, yeah, I guess you do have a story. Yeah, I'm going to be very interested to see this movie, and it. I was trying to get it out to Philly. I couldn't get a, a theater in Philly. I'll try to get Philly. Oh, don't worry about that. Jacksonville. Listen, uh, listen. It, 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 it was it was a I lot. I have. You just let me know when you're ready. Okay, I'm ready now. Now what? Come on, I'm. The, you can't say that to me because I'm the guy that, that flies all over the country all the time. Okay, well, it's Ash Sorrell and Takoya. I'm on them all the time. Like, this is y'all movie, and I'm working like I'm the main star of this movie. Well, you know, I don't really know too much about that. Maybe if I was in, I'd probably be working like you. <laughs> I just, I ain't gonna lie, you know. So, uh, you know, that might make that a little different. Um, but, um, I've talked to a couple of people, you know, I, I know quite a few people in the city, and there are, there are other little facilities that you can actually use in Philly that has the mood and I'm quite sure they could bring a screen out. So you just need that look and that great feel. And trust me, Philly is a building city. They got some spots downtown. I know a couple of people that, that be rocking them downtown spots that you might want to go right to. Trust you go, me. Brother, just, just make it happen and give me a call. I'll be on the first thing smoking. Okay. I hear you. It, it, this is call, the, not the one of them. This is the most important movie I've ever done in my life. Okay. Period. I dedicated the movie to a young lady by the name of Simone uh, McBride. I mean, Jasmine McBride. And Jasmine McBride actually died when we was doing our shooting in February. It was freezing cold. In, and uh, that's the time when uh, Sorrell was talking about when we had to go back and it was freezing cold. She passed away when we were filming. And when I found out about mm. that, I had to dedicate the movie to her because Jasmine McBride had Legionnaire's disease from drinking that water. And when mm. they was telling her the water was bad, she didn't believe it because she just was used to drinking water. But what really happened is that was not the water she was used to drinking because Detroit used to send the water from Detroit to Flint. And uh, the governor decided he wanted to save money because he had these pet projects in Michigan. And so he turned the water off, which which Michigan is known for very clean water. And he turned it off and connected to the Flint River, which mm. was not known for drinking, <laughs> you know. And we talk about that in the movie uh, with uh, Hawthorne got a, a fabulous quote that it really happened uh, where uh, he says General Motors uh, uh, parts are corroding uh, and they turned it off and got the fresh water back in. Why did we not get the fresh water back in? So General Motors can, if they, if they parts is going to corrode, what do you think your insides is going to do? And uh, uh, that, that was actually something that General Motors really did do. And I put that in the film. Wow. Whew. This I is mean, really a, a deep subject though. Yes, you know, it is. Even though you did the movie, you wouldn't think that people would do this. And yet it was done, and it's just swell. well. He he just got indicted this year. Governor Snyder just got indicted, so he's not off the hook yet. 
Uh, it literally took five years for them to indict him, but they just indicted him. Uh, we also have the uh, former mayor of Flint in the movie, so she's in the movie too, and she was the one suing him and trying to fight him, and she gave us a cameo, and she played uh, a councilwoman in the movie. Her name is, uh, well, I didn't forget her name, Jesus Christ. Oh. Karen Weaver? Miss Weaver, yep. Yeah, my Karen family. Her. <laughs> yeah, they all went to, they all grew up together. Yep, Karen Weaver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they all went. They all grew up together. Yeah, All right. Well, it's definitely. I can. I can feel yeah. that the movie is going to, uh, you know, have a great story. It's just all about getting the people to come out and see, because basically you're re re reenacting history. Something that really happened, something that was really real, and I'm I'm all I'll, I'm always with the with the real stuff, you know. Uh, that's something I'm gonna definitely check this check this out. You said Netflix, right? Yep, but that's not into uh, that's in three months. Oh no, they're doing VOD right now, man. Three months, man. Yeah, man. my brother, December the fourteenth, you can rent it. It'll be on all the streaming sites. <laughs> you can rent it on on. Uh, on any uh, on Amazon and Hulu and um, all yeah. the ones where you can rent movies at. Okay, cool. I, I got uh, all uh, Apple TV. Services. So if you have an iPhone, you can watch it on your phone. Yeah. Android, Google Play, you, you can rent it on Google Play or December fourteenth. So if you don't have an iPhone, you have uh, an Android. So no, you don't have to wait three months to catch it on Netflix, unless you want to watch it free. But you got to pay Netflix, so that's a whole. It's not really still free. But yeah, if you want to rent it, it'd be available on, on the 14th. Okay. December the 14th. It's going down. Flint Tell, Mark Casey, Hawthorne James, Sorrell Wilkerson, Takoya Harris. It's going to be a big day. I, I can feel it. It's going to be a big day. And you know what? Send me the information. I'm sending it out to all my emails, too. Appreciate it. But let's not forget about tomorrow, all week long, Saginaw. Gary, Indiana, and uh, Egan, Minnesota. Minnesota. I gotta remember that word. Egan. Minnesota, Egan, yes. Minneapolis, <laughs> Twin City area. Now we can't wait. We can't wait. Thank you so much. We have Anna popped up over from Sweden. Anna's from Sweden. She's in there checking it out. She said, hey, "Shout Anna, out to Mark doing? Casey." Yes. Thank you. Absolutely. All right, so are we done or are we just getting started? What's going on? Because <laughs> it looks like everybody's mind is ready to get going. Well, you know, they've been working hard. Mark's been traveling, so I'm not going to hold yeah, I know yeah. Hawthorne, I, you know, I don't know what time it is out there, but oh, it was still kind of early out He's there. He's a lot but, earlier than, uh, yeah. than me. I'm 1040. Y'all should be yes. 940. Oh, I know. Still, so, um, so, so, so. Yeah, he's seven something, you know. he. He about to watch TV I think, again, uh, so you know. I see uh, uh, two, uh, the two films. The two films. I need, the, uh, I need the, the poster and a DVD. Okay, I don't. I don't I have the you, physical uh, DVDs. The only person that got it. Yeah, I don't have the physical DVDs in hand yet, but I do have the cover. I got the cover. Uh -huh. And I'm, 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 I'm going to keep some posters okay. for you, yeah, for sure. All right, so he's breaking okay. out the, uh, the DVDs. He's taking it back to the streets. DVD, phone DVD. DVDs. DVDs. Hey, DVDs. Hey, I, listen, hey, look, I still watch I, DVDs. I, I, listen, I mean, somebody is still watching DVDs or they invested their money to make them. No. I do. I mean, Thanks. if you've got good movies, you, you can throw it in that machine. So I want my DVD and I want it signed by everybody. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you you just started something there, Hawthorne. Hey, oh, no shame. No shame. <laughs> I am not bougie. I am not Hollywood. <laughs> I am old school. I want mine signed. But and Anna it says she wants one too. <laughs> See? We've got to figure mm -hmm. out how, how it's going to get. Um, a, a matter of fact, I do have to ask that question. How does that work with the overseas market? Like, how do I get it over there to. Um, Italy and over to Sweden in that. 
No, it's our, it's our, I've already licensed the movie to a sales agent. She will have it in Africa, England, and all that. That's, hey. that's her job. Okay. Been a very long oh, nice. time. So it, it's going to be all over. This, I'm not, I'm not doing this independent. There's a distribution company called Vision Films. Uh, I am doing most of the damn marketing, but uh, <laughs> other than that, yeah. I tell you what, you get them streams and all that stuff up, it's going to be well worth it, ain't it? Oh, yeah. Well, it's well worth it now. Like I yeah. said, this was the most important movie that I ever done, so I'm yeah. proud of it. You know, I, I called my producer last night who was stressing, and I just told her, hey, look, I did the best I can. I, I spent all my money on it and, and some of yours, too. And um, <laughs> how they take it is how they take it, because I, I gave my blood, sweat, and tears. So... Absolutely. So are we done? Yes, we are <laughs> done. I know you look, I don't it's, know. I know it's, Michigan, it's baby, extra bad blue. time. Listen, look, I don't he's know. He's in Philly, so it's late out there. <laughs> no, 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 it's not that. You know, I just need to know. But you work hard just like Mark. I know Mark is hard. Everybody's been working so hard. Everybody's so working thank, hard. Yes, I want to thank everyone. Takoya, uh, Sorrell, Hawthorne. Mark, thank you so much for coming on SL Digital Media. We really appreciate it. We can't wait to see the movie. I can't wait to see it this weekend. Once again, it's the play tale. Hold on, you're going to see it tomorrow. You're going tomorrow to see it, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, tomorrow, see it tomorrow, it, to it. it's, showing four, it's showing four times tomorrow. Four times at, tomorrow. At 11 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock. No, no, 7 o'clock and o'clock. 10 o'clock. Okay, well, I'm gonna be there tomorrow. Yo, you got cousins in Minneapolis. You got ex boyfriends. Yeah, baby daddy. Somebody going on thing. Friday night. Tomorrow is Friday night. Make it a date night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You bringing baby daddies, baby daddy cousins, everybody coming. I have to tell hubby we have to go, go check fact, it out. Demonica, stand in the lobby and instead of them going to see Will Smith movie, shift them over to Flint Tail. Yeah. Instead of them going to see True to the Game. Uh, with Erica, so no, Erica's in this movie. Switch him over to say she with Big Red. So you, get, you know, just, just stand there and literally, that's what I was doing in, 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 in when I had a movie in, in the theater before. I'm literally gonna be standing in the theater. Look, so they're gonna be in there like this. I ain't see Will Smith yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, you gotta come see this though. <laughs> Look, yeah. All right, all right. So that's it. We did it. Flint Tail, Mark Casey. What was that? You said something. I know I heard something. I was, about it. I was, you said I it was know, a very, a very important subject matter. Me, but I was saying that it really is an important. Yeah, it's extremely important subject matter, told <laughs> in an told in a very theatrical way. So you know. If, if you don't care about people or you just want to go hang out for an hour and a half, then go enjoy yourself. But that's not what this movie is made for. This movie is made for, for you to go see it, to be entertained, to get in, in right into the matter, and then afterwards talk about it. That's the kind of stuff I want to do. Anything else? I've been in movies. I've been in television. All I care about is things that make us better. And if it doesn't have that message, I really, you know... I may do it for money if it's enough money. But what I really want to do yeah, is important. Hey, you see how you cleared that one up? Make <laughs> and want to yeah, you gotta do some money. Man. Yeah. Say what? No, you said I'm, I'm going to clear it up and make sure them know. You know, I'll do it for the money too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you say, look, if it's for that oh, break, yeah. you, you know. know. There are things, there are things that I, you know, but nothing that nothing that is going to hurt black men. Period. You can't give me enough money to do that. You cannot right. give me enough money. I've turned down millions yeah. of dollars. Period. Mm -hmm. You know, there are things that I will do for the money as long as it doesn't make black men look bad. Well, it's not going right. to happen to me. And I've well, been yeah, that way all my life. I don't that. care. I'm here because mm -hmm. this is too. Film and television is too important. This goes over who you are. And if all, all they see is you killing and, and mur murdering and raping, right. that's what they think you are as a people. You got nothing to do with that. Yeah. Have to do well, with it's, actually, it's actually and a scripture. Troubles, and we do have 
troubles. Of course, we do, just like anybody else. We have we have a, a friction between my my one daughter and the friction between my other daughter, which is a different friction. It's a different dynamic, but it it is friction. Mm-hmm. And that's what, and, and as a background, the Flint water crisis, which is pathetic that it's still going on. Mm. People are yes. still dying. Children will never be the same. Mm. This has got to, I, that's why I wanted to Mark called me on the phone and, and told me about the character. It got my juices flowing. I remember I was in my apartment and I was pacing back and forth, talking to Mark saying, well, we can do this, we can do that, because he's a, he's in control of his own destiny. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> he's not he's not he's not he's not beholding to a studio who will tell him what he can and can't do. We've got to do more of this. Hopefully, and and, and as as we all get better with it, we'll all make more money, so that we can live the lifestyle, an affordable lifestyle. Sorrell can do this full time as opposed to uh, uh, w- working that nine to five. Tokoya can do it full time because they deserve the shot. They deserve it. They're good, better. That's why I'm here. Because I want to, I could care in my backyard and watch, watch the sunset, watch it sit around and in my backyard. That's, that's enjoyable to me. I only want to do things that mean something. And I'm not playing with this. Well, it sounds like you did it. Yes. And after that speech, you know you did it. Yes, he's right. Yes. Yeah. Most definitely. So it's a must watch. Absolutely. Educate. Definitely. Thanks, Dad. Tomorrow, Minnesota. Get there. Four shows. You heard Indiana. Them. Indiana, get there. Four shows. Where else, Mark? Saginaw. Saginaw, Michigan. Michigan. I got family out there. By the way, I know a a basketball player named Mark. There's a website. There's a website on Facebook, isn't it? Is it not Mark that they can go to just to follow up as backup? Are you on mute, Mark? Mark was texting. You heard his Mark touching. Mark, you on mute. Yeah, he on he on he on mute. Come on back. Yeah, I still see the thing. There you go. Yeah, yeah. no, no. It's, it, I, I literally post every day, all day on Instagram and Facebook, so all the information is there. And also, there's a website that has it too: www.foremostentertainment.com. All that information will be on foremostentertainment.com. Which theater? The times is planned, and all that. But but for the quickest way, you can go right to Facebook. Cause I literally, I don't, I don't have my Facebook for. You don't see my daughters on Facebook. It's strictly for business. All right, is, are is we done? Arcade, or is it, or the name huh? of the film on Facebook. Flintail. Is it is it under Mark Casey or is it under the name of the film on Facebook? I, it's, I got two accounts. It's under Flintail. The, the, and it's under Mark Casey. So both. It's both of them. It's both of them. Joanne Marsha Wilkerson said, well said, Hawthorne. Yes, that's, it was. That's, you know my mom. that's my mom. That's my mom. Hey, that's mom. your mom. She's beautiful. She's Wait a minute, hold on. Your mom, your mom is on? Mom, that's I'm her. going to Saginaw because your daughter, would, she, I've been begging your daughter. She won't tell you anything. Is in Saginaw. I told her. No, I told you to have your mama call me, and you wouldn't have your mama call me. Oh so I want to talk to your mom because she knows Saginaw. I'm gonna tell all my family to go. It's 30 minutes outside of Flint. Look, even though even though they all showed up to the Flint one, let's see if they all go to <laughs> Saginaw too, because they all came to Flint. No, but they probably want to see it again. You got cousins, you got boyfriends, <laughs> girlfriends. Not boyfriends, boyfriend. Just one. Just one. It, it's worth the 30 minute drive. And Joanne, you know, I'm counting on you because Joanne, I'm counting on you. Because <laughs> real don't it, it, look, I try to l- listen, I got a quick story. I try to put the movie in Seattle. Not they Seattle. Gave a, they gave me a theater near a prison. And 
Oh, jail, uh, jail theater, right? One of the worst in Washington. And so she I don't said, I'm go not going to support Never it. I'm not going to. So I pulled out of, I pulled out of Seattle because I said I'm not going to fly up there and try to promote this by myself if Sherelle is not with me. So I pulled it out of Seattle. We would have been in Seattle oh, by the prison Monroe. if it Monroe. wasn't for Sherelle. <laughs> not Seattle, Monroe, where there is a terrible prison, and I'm just like, why can't they watch the movie too? I wasn't feeling that. I was not feeling that vibe, you know. I wasn't feeling that, and that's about forty-five minutes outside of Seattle. I wasn't feeling that vibe. But December fourteenth, <laughs> December fourteenth, December third, you can see Flint Tail. <sighs> now I miss being with you. Well, no, I expect you to be on the phone calling your family to go up to Saginaw. It starts tomorrow morning at eleven o'clock. Is the first show. Then you got two, four, seven, and ten in Saginaw. It's called the Quality Ten, powered by Imagine, the only theater in Saginaw. And oh, take the one in Gary one more time. The Gary, the one in Gary is called the. Uh, it used to be the old AMC IMAX. So, so, but now Imagine bought that. It's called the Portage Sixteen. And it used to be the IMAX AMC. Okay. okay. And that's called the Portage 16. 16. Okay. In Gary, Indiana, yes. Joanne, I know you got family there too now. Yes, we do. And yes, Egan, do. Egan is like Minneapolis Twin Cities. So if you know anybody uh -huh. in the Twin Cities, the St. Paul or the Minneapolis, go hang out with, with the, uh, uh, Demonica. She's going to be in the lobby. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I got some family in Minnesota, so the, yeah, her and Jasmine. Y'all gotta go meet Demonica first. To make sure she's in the lobby. Make sure she's in that lobby. I'll be in that lobby. Jasmine, and we're gonna be in that lobby. Yeah, if, uh, okay. just uh, hit hit the um their link. Uh, itchy Gitchy with uh with Demonica and Jasmine. <laughs> Okay. No, that's that's not, don't go to the text thing I gave you. Go to my page. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I'm gonna let you take over, oh, yeah. Scarf. All right. I'm gonna say it again because it seemed like every time I ask this question, it just keep on going. So what's <laughs> that it or are we keep done? I just We're done. done. We are done finally. Here we go. Flint tell you heard it from Mark Casey, the film director. Sorrell Wilkerson, Takoya Harris, Hawthorne James, co-hosted by Demonica Fly. Y'all heard it. It's going down this Friday. Make sure you check out those four major cities. If you're in town, make it happen. And not by the jail. Holla. Thank you. Message, y'all.